everybody. We are in a different location today, if you could not tell. Um, where are we? Where are we? We're at Retwist Tea, which is a, an adorable store that my family owns on Water Street in Sauk. Um, it's just, we're in this beautiful gallery right now. I wish you could get like a full 360, but we're surrounded by like art and beautiful things. Yeah, and it smells really good. It smells like flowers. So this week of Midweek Conversations is brought to you by Retwisty Re on Water Street in Sauk City. Yes. Visit Retwisty today and get a 10% discount by mentioning River Hills Church <laughs> no, Midweek no, Conversations. No, no, no. <laughs> we don't know about that. <laughs> 10 percent discount on a high five. <laughs> like. <laughs> well, I thought I was going to like cover the 10%. Oh, you can cover that. Okay, never mind. Erase no, never said. mind. Erase it. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> the entire village pours well, into Yeah, right. I was like... I want my 10%. <laughs> yeah. Like, who's covering that? He said he would. So. Just to use coupon code... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You got that straight, right? <laughs> exactly. That's the coupon code to use. <laughs> Cute. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm Dennis, and this is... I'm Angelica. And again, welcome to Midweek Conversations. Yes. Yes, yes. And Usually, we talk about what... You know what we <laughs> i was gonna say what we talked about on sunday mm. we talk about what we talked about but uh the, the message on sunday at river hills church uh, among other things but we didn't really do much of a message well mm -hmm. we did but it wasn't a spoken word why don't you tell right. us yeah it's the whole reason that we're here it's all connected all of these changes it's all because we're having this cool rummage sale that's happening <clears throat> and so the church is full like every single room, all every, all the surface area of River Hills Church right now is just covered in really cool stuff. We have like furniture, clothes, decorations, like lamps, like I don't know. There's just all kinds of stuff. It, it's crazy. I'm really excited. I don't. Did you see I those antique chests? Yes. Yeah. Like real antiques too. You have like the whole spectrum. So right now that's happening, but also on Sunday why we didn't really have a message is because we had our service day. So instead of like a regular service, we actually went out and served. Like I love that. Yeah, we went out into the community and that was really cool. There was like, what was it? Like 13 different like places you could go. Like yep. you could like sign up at all of these different tables or whatever and you could go with like a group. So all of these groups went out around the community, around our area and like, there was different types of tasks. Like you could go like help with yard work, you could go clean out gutters, you could like do gardening stuff. It was just everything. It was so cool. It was So So yeah. I was at, at John Joseph Coffee yeah. on, on Saturday. This midweek conversation is brought to you by John Joseph Coffee <laughs> on Water Street in on Sauk Water City. Street. Yeah. <laughs> where you can go in and get a great cup of coffee for a buck. Or get some some uh, beans or ground coffee. Or cool merch. They have like cups Very cool and like merch. clothes and stuff. So visit John Joseph Coffee and be sure to mention River Hills Church for your special free cup of coffee. I will cover your cup of coffee. Aww. And then with your cup of coffee, come over to Retwisty. And then come over <laughs> and to Retwisty. <laughs> and don't forget the special code for your discount. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway. So I was at John Joseph Coffee and I, I asked John, um, so do you, you know any, any projects um, that we should be focusing on in the community? Is there anyone who you know who might be in need? Mm. And he happened to mention someone who uh, stops in at River Hills Church and also stops in at, uh, at John, John Joseph. And he said, well, his porch railing is, uh, is really loose. And, mm. and he was sharing that with me. And so I jotted it down. And it was so cool because the family called me uh, that that morning of, of yesterday, so we're filming this on Monday. Yeah. And so they, they called on Sunday morning because we were going to move something in their home for them, which we did. But then I said, and we're also going to stick around to fix that porch railing you, you, that, that you have that, that's loose. And they're like, how do you know about that? Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> and, and I said, well, I am a man of God. <laughs> <laughs> no. God told me. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> Uh, so, and, uh, and again, you know, we, we talk about God things or God incidences or mm -hmm. these holy, holy moments. moments yeah. And, uh, but a, a fellow who lives in Appleton, uh, and 
calls River Hills his church home, uh, happened to be in town, so he, he was there for service Sunday, but he happened to be driving his work truck with all of his tools, and he has owned multiple properties and oh has taken goodness. care of them. And so uh, I asked, hey, would you be willing to fix this porch railing? Yes! Uh, <laughs> and, that's awesome. And he was over there, and two and a half hours later, the whole thing is solid again. And uh, yeah, it was just it, that's it's awesome. a very cool deal. What did you get to do? We, me and my mom, we were at River Hills and we helped with setting up that rummage sale that I talked about. Yep. So there was the so much Rummage sale stuff. for missions. For missions. Yeah. Yep. To support um, Ketty and her family in Mexico. Right. Which is super cool that they, they're able to be supported by our church here. So yeah. And, and again, there's a lot there and people were dropping off. So we were kind of working on that. I was the little shed that's like behind the church. I worked on emptying that out. And it looks small and cute, but not when it's packed full of stuff that you have to move. <laughs> then it's like, oh, there's a little bit more here. <laughs> Do you remember so. the, those boxes? You, you open it up and, a, and like a, yeah, a snake yeah. springs out yes, of it. Yes. I think the shed was a little bit do, like that. Do, it was do, packed do, do, so do, do, full. Do, yeah, <laughs> it was a little bit of a horror movie there. <laughs> but we, we got it. It's done. I mean, Good job. thank you. It's like empty now. Like, honestly... Once that was all cleared out, I just stood there and like stared at it for a little while. I was like, wow, we did it. <laughs> yeah, I, had, I heard some great stories and worked on a couple of great teams. So mm -hmm. um, we, we cleaned out a widow's gutters good. she was concerned about. And in one section, it was a good thing we did. Uh, but a lot of it was clear. But still, you know, it was something that got off her mind. Yeah. Uh, and we helped at a, another widow's house. And the reason I'm mentioning widows, uh, Jesus' half-brother James in James chapter 1 says, Pure religion that, that pleases God is this, to take care of orphans and, and widows. And, and particularly in, in, those, in those days, uh, those were highly marginalized people mm -hmm. and at risk. Mm -hmm. um, and so the, the church was charged with, with looking after orphans and widows. And not, not just... You know, of of their own faith, but mm -hmm. of of people in the community. Yeah. And so we we take that seriously as yeah. what what we should be doing as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we were able to help at uh, one, two, three, three or four widows' homes, mm -hmm. maybe even five, uh, yesterday, which was a great thing. That's so good. So, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it was really cool to see all of the the projects that were going to go out. It wasn't even just in town either. Like I saw people going out to like Mazo and stuff. There were people who drove 20 miles to get to yeah, a project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really cool. Um, and it was my first service Sunday, mom's first service Sunday here. Like we, we've been at River Hills for a, a while, but this is my first service Sunday. So that was really cool and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a, it was definitely felt like going to church. You're just like, you're just doing the real church thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we like to end our service with the phrase, go and be the church, yeah. or let's go and be the church. And uh, So we did, we literally did. This was our opportunity to, to be church to other yeah. people. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and to help in that way, so mm -hmm. cool. Really positive, yeah. And that was uh, a precursor to what today is. We're filming this on Earth Day. Yeah, oh, we wanted to film it outside, but as many of you probably will know, it's very windy, it is very windy today. So Angelica was going to plant a tree. I was going to plant a tree <laughs> <laughs> on camera. No, it was just is so beautiful out. Um, but yeah, Earth Day. I had something to say about Earth Day. Well, tell us. I know. Oh, well, I think it was like how, you know, we're serving each other and it's like you're, you're doing tasks. You're not like... Uh, what is the word? Being a consumer or whatever, everything like instead of having those people have to go to like a huge company or something and get them to help or instead of them having to go and like, I don't know, use resources that they don't have or we just use the resources that we do have to help them. So it's kind of like a, a sustainable thing. I wonder if they hear that clock right now. Do you hear the clock chiming in the background? It's a gra grandfather clock. It's a grandfather clock. And 
you cannot buy it at Retwisty because <laughs> it's, it's not tried. for sale. It was the first thing I looked at. And NFS. Yeah. Whatever. whatever. <laughs> so uh, I was in third grade when, when Earth Day started. Really? Do, do, you, do you know anything about the background of Earth Day? No. I thought it was always a thing. Well, um, well, if you go back to Genesis chapter three, I guess you like, could say like it's, Earth Day. It's, it's always also, a thing. It's you know, it was always a thing because God placed Adam in the Garden of Eden. You, you, you want to hear hear the text? Yes. I, I actually have it right here. Yes. Um, and uh, it says the Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. Hmm. And uh, goes on to say, you're free to eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and so on. Hmm. And then he said, it's not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. And he formed the woman uh, out, of, uh, out of Adam. And so, but the, the dominant verse there is Genesis, uh, Genesis chapter, uh, I say three, Genesis chapter two yeah. and, and verse 15. The Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and take, take care, care of, it. of it. And that's the general idea. That's the uh, where we get the word stewardship. You yeah. Know, mm-hmm. you, you are to steward uh, that. You are to take care of, of it. And so, yeah. uh, now, you, you weren't even alive then, but in 1969. I don't uh, think I was and, even a thought. And, and the event happened. <laughs> and if you were living in Cleveland, Ohio, you, th- this wasn't a big deal for them, but have you ever heard of the Cuyahoga River catching on fire? No. So the, the Cuyahoga River was so polluted that uh, a train was going over a trestle over the river and one of the, uh, one, one of the workers threw a flare off, off the bridge, off the trestle, and it went into the river and caught the river on fire. Oh my goodness. Now, there, it, it was an industrial <clears throat> river, so, so there was a lot of garbage floating in the river, yeah. but also there, there was oil on the surface of the river. And so these, these two things caused, caused the river to, to catch on fire. Now, in Cleveland, apparently this wasn't a big deal because it had happened time and time again. I think this was like the 10th time it had caught on oh fire. Oh my gosh. But this was kind of a tipping point for for people and for the nation and, and, and for the press. Uh-huh. And suddenly the, the environment was, was like front and center. And do you know that Earth Day has a Wisconsin connection? No. Do, do you have your phone? No, it's over there. Ah, here, you... let's, let's, let's try something. Okay, okay, Google. Who is Gaylord Nelson? According to Wikipedia, Gaylord Anton Nelson was an American politician from Wisconsin who served as a United States Senator and Governor. He was a member of the Democratic Party and the... And so what's interesting is that that happened on June 22nd, 1969. And by April 22nd, Gaylord Nelson uh, in the Senate decided... Uh, that they, they, they needed to, to champion environmental concerns. And this, of course, had been going on before, prior to yeah. this, this date. But uh, they, they, made, they, they declared April 22nd the, uh, the, the first Earth Day. And so this was April 22nd, 1970. 1970. And so next year would be the 55th anniversary of it. Uh, but to, to this day, it remains the largest single demonstration in the history of the planet oh. with 20 million people going out into the streets to protest environmental de- degradation and, uh, and, and concerns. That's so cool. And, so, and that's, that's our Wisconsin connection to, uh-huh. to Earth Day, the largest demonstration in history. Uh, wow, I wish and, that. You know, just a lot of. A I lot wish of stuff. that we still had that same energy for that, right now. That'd be really cool. And now, I I've always wondered this because uh, I remember Miss Chismore. She was my third grade teacher, and, mm-hmm. and we did this this thing on on creating uh, anti pollution posters. And That's one of the fun. one of the girls in the class 
drew an owl and it said, give a hoot, don't pollute. And as far as I knew, that was the first time I had ever heard that. I need to look that up and see if maybe our third grade class created that phrase. Yeah, like what? Like, wait, because <laughs> I definitely saw those shirts at REI. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, see? Yeah, which I love, I definitely. So Genesis 2.15, it goes it all the way goes back to the beginning to... of time, you know, but also then 1970. So we uh, have, 69 we and have 70. prehistory, 1970, and yeah. now. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Yeah. and of course, yeah. to you, 1970 is ancient history. <laughs> exactly. Like, it's practically the Flintstones. <laughs> uh, no, but, you it's know, it's, it's interesting how, how often, particularly American Christianity just kind of poo poos this as a quote unquote liberal concern. Mm. Uh, but, yeah, we. I, I think. I think that's the, the tide is starting to change on that. Mm -hmm. um, but but we need to take environmental concerns seriously. Definitely. So today uh, I stopped at Culver's, and this isn't against Culver's in any way, shape, or form. This is more against me and my, my tastes and our, our tastes uh, as an American public. But I picked up a burger and two salads. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. This is uh, from a burger and two salads. Plastic. Do you want me to hold some? Plastic. More plastic. <laughs> Still more plastic. Um, oh, you know what? We didn't use these because I brought it home and we use metal, but here, here's a plastic fork, two plastic forks. Two plastic knives, which we didn't even need for this meal to begin with. Why, why give us the plastic knives? And they're in a plastic, plastic bag. bag just to keep them clean. And then I stopped at Piggly Wiggly to pick up. I forget what I picked up there. But, and we had, we had yet more. Oh, oh, this, this does, in fact, compost. This does. That's paper, yeah. That's, but, you know, look at, this is, this is for a salad and a hamburger. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we, we do this all the time. For everything. And today, uh, the Earth Day theme, I believe, this year is the planet against plastics or plastics against the planet, so, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, it, the, the focus today is on, is on plastics. Yeah. And, and here I am celebrating Earth Day by having lunch and generating mm -hmm. all the, And where does this go? You know? Into the water. Like, we're, we all drink microplastics now. You can't get away from it. Well, can I, can I talk to you about your generation and, and the insistence on, on uh, drinking bottled water? I don't drink bottled water, oh, but God. you can talk to me about it. I would <laughs> like to hear about it. Yeah. No, I mean, is, isn't it insane? No, I just, you, you, yeah. You think it's, about how much plastic we generate. I think we're just so, and we just have so many, like, silly, needless things, like, so many things that are pre-packaged, like at the store, pre-cut fruit, pre-cut fruit. Part of it is like a sustainability issue, right? Like we do not need that much plastic. Part of it also is like kind of this mentality around here that like we want instant, quick, easy things. Yeah. Like you seriously got a pre-packaged orange it's an orange, no. so it's already in its packaging. You get like these, you know, you'll see like those. those... You, wait, wait, wait! You've actually seen a yeah, like little tubs. So you'll get plastic. Yeah, you'll get like tubs, these plastic tubs, like at the gas station or at the grocery store, and you'll have all your little compartments in it, and you'll have, you know, your orange slices, your pineapple, cantaloupe, or whatever. You'll have your vegetables in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, dude, it's like. You don't have, just go buy it at the store in the produce section, bring your reusable bag with you, put the produce in there and buy it. Like you don't have to go get it in this little tub. Like it's just for convenience. It's just for convenience. But like we totally, we totally keep that in business because we buy it. Obviously, otherwise they wouldn't be there if we're not buying this like silly stuff. But yeah. yeah. Hey, um, you know, we, I, I, I call myself an evangelical, not in the political sense by any means whatsoever. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, one of the things that evangelicals do is that we, we hold God's word in, in high esteem. 
Um, it, is, it is our rule for, for faith and life. Mm -hmm. And uh, if, if you're in there with me, uh, can I just read this one more time? The Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. Mm -hmm. uh, it sounds to me like that's a responsibility we need to take seriously. Yeah. And uh, so let's not, let's not uh, weaponize Earth Day. Let's not politicize Earth Day. Yeah. And let, let's not politicize any of this. No. Um, that, that, you know, people who are concerned about the planet are this or that. Uh, but it's something that we as Christ followers are, are called to do and should be doing. Yeah. Also, like, let's not just like, it gets cool that we have Earth Day and it's awesome, really cool history and roots and everything, but it does not end on April 22nd. Like you can, you know, we should care about the planet before April and after April. We should be caring about it all the time. Oh, you mean not, not just one day out of the year? Not just one day out of the year. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. we shouldn't stop caring about it. Just like kind of how we were saying um, at right after Easter and we had this conversation and we were like, it doesn't end here. You know, this whole resurrection message does not end here. We're still talking about it. And the same goes with just, yeah, caring about our planet and, and doing the stewardship mission that God gave us as humans to do well. Well, you know, I'm glad you said that because people aren't going to be watching this on Earth Day. They're going to be watching it the day exactly. after Earth Day or a couple of days so, after Earth Day. You better still be living that life. <laughs> <laughs> or Angelic is going to come after you. Yeah. And, oh, that, no. and that whole discount code that I told you about earlier yeah. at Retwisty, Re it's going to be gone. No discounts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's it. Um, anything else we need to be talking about today? Mm. Come and visit uh, River Hills in Sauk City, 111, uh, 1111 Sycamore Street in Sauk City. 111 <laughs> 1. 111 <laughs> 1, 1 Sycamore Street in Sauk City uh -huh. for our missions rummage sale or rummage sale for missions. Yeah. That's going to run Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Saturday. I think it's going to start at. It starts at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Yeah. And ends when it peters out. When it peters, day. I mean, there's so much stuff. And then, uh, and, and the hard end, I think, is twelve or one on on Saturday. Yeah. I think one is what someone told me today. Yeah. But yeah. I don't know. So check it out. Uh, go to our webpage or the app, and hopefully that's all. That's should should be up there. Up to date. Yeah. Should be there. <laughs> should, be, should, be. should be. Fantastic. Yeah. Great. Okay, now let's go outside. Let's go like hike or something. Let's go have some Earth Day celebration. Yeah. All okay. right. You Bye. Guys, thanks for uh, <laughs> thanks for being here for a midweek conversation. Hope to see you maybe this weekend, mm -hmm. either online in person, uh, and uh, we'll take it from there. Mm -hmm. All right. Have a great week.